this is going to be a follow-up video to the first video I did on RetroArch and Emulation Station. So if you haven't watched that first video, then go back and watch it. Try to set it up the way that I show, and if you get any errors, then come back and watch this video. Uh, I'm going to be talking about two common errors that I see, uh, and they can be kind of frustrating if you don't know how to fix them. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So the first error that I see, and I'm just going to replicate it real quick, and I know you can't see my Emulation Station just because it's full screen in my screen recorder program for some reason has an issue with it. So here's the first error and you'll notice uh, that it shows a directory which is not a full directory and it says it's not recognized as an internal external command. So the reason that you see this error is if you look up here uh, I have a space in my directories. So if there's a space in any of your folders you're gonna have to put quotation marks around that folder just like this not around, and notice that I don't put it around the entire command. I only put it around that specific folder. And if you have multiple folders with quotes, then you're just going to put quotes around those specific ones. And if you do that, that should fix your issue. Um, the only other reason you would get this error is if uh, you have a space in your file name. And that would be fixed if you just put quotes around ROM raw just like this. Okay, so the next issue let me get rid of that quotation mark. The next issue that uh, I see a lot is this one, and I'm just going to mess up my config file so I can replicate the error. So the next one is uh, failed to load the dynamic library, which means I couldn't find the DLL file for RetroArch. So this one is pretty easy to fix. Uh, Usually it's caused by either a spelling mistake like this or uh, if your DLL is not located where you say it is. So double check that it's in the folder that you say it's in um, because what this is saying is it looked where you told it to look and it didn't find it. Uh, the other issue would be, again, if you have spaces in your folders in your folder names and for this the easiest way to fix that is to just put quotes around the entire thing so if you add quotes around the entire path that will fix that error okay and then um, do not uh, use quotation marks uh, around this entire path because you'll get an error which I know I said already but I just wanna reiterate on that you can only use the quotation marks around this entire path. So over here, quotation marks around folder names. Over here, quotation marks around the entire path. And then just put quotation marks around ROM raw in case you have spaces in your file names. And that should fix uh, all of that should fix those two errors. Uh, if you have any more errors, uh, make sure you uh, let me know in the comments or send me a message. I can make another video or send me an email. Uh, any of those things. Uh, but hopefully this video is helpful to you. If it was, then uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be trying to post uh, videos every week. Uh, let me know what you think.